This is an interesting um, tactic I recently did. Uh, this is white's move. White plays queen g4 check, attacking black's bishop and checking black's king. Well, we want to notice that we have a quite a good attack on white's queen. And if we weren't in check, we would play queen e1 check and followed by queen c1 mate. So we have to do a forcing move. Because if we play king b1, white just takes on g5 and is up a piece. So the only forcing move is f5. Respond with uh respond to a threat with a threat. So f5, if if e takes f5, just taking back the pawn, we have we've just followed through with our plan. Queen e1 check. If king b2 or king c2, there is queen c1 checkmate. And there's no other way to prevent it unless you sacrifice a piece like this but after rook takes c2 check king b2 queen b4 check king c2 queen uh, b1 check king c3 there's rook d3 mate and if king c2 there's rook here here and checkmate so white can't play e takes f5 so the only logical move left is queen takes uh, G5. And now we notice we have um, we have a pin on this bishop with our queen. So we have ideas of rook d1 someday, but we also notice that this pawn is hanging and our bishop here can take it with check. So we play bishop takes uh, bishop takes e4 check. And if um, king c1, there is queen c3 check. And what has to play bishop c2 followed by queen takes c2 mate. And if king a1, there's queen c3 check, knight b2, knight b2, and queen e1 check, uh, followed by mate soon. For example, bishop d1, check, takes, check, king b2, and we should be able to mate soon. I think, um, I don't know. I think queen d4. Check. Actually, queen c2. And if king here, check here. And bishop c6, checkmate. Okay, so. After bishop takes uh, e4 check, white has to play king b2. And now we have the final touch. Um, as I said before, white's bishop is pinned to his king. So now we just play rook d1, uh, exploiting the fact that white can't take the rook with a bishop because he's pinned, and we're threatening rook b1 checkmate. And it might look dangerous since white's king, queen, and rook are very close to our king, but uh, nothing can really affect it. Let's say rook h1, rook h8 check, and there's not really any checks because this is protected by our, the, our queen, and if rook here, we just hide our king on a6. So the final um, thing that white can try is knight d6 check, and all you have to do is be careful not to play queen takes d6, because queen takes d6 removes our pin on the white queen king, and black white will just take the bishop, where we will have to settle for a draw somehow with um, queen takes d1. So black all, all black has to do is play rook takes d6 and is winning. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it informative.